This video describes layout and stage improvements in UI Builder. Let's take a look at each one. We've made toolbox enhancements, added column layouts, improved the configuration panel, and enabled on-stage navigation in UI Builder. First up are enhancements to the toolbox. For our example, we're logged into UI Builder, displaying an empty page we want to add components to. We click Add Content, and the toolbox opens with a tabbed interface displaying two categories, Layouts and Components. The toolbox automatically switches between the two tabs by inferring what type of element is more suitable to be added to the page. Right now, the page is empty, so the toolbox displays the layout options and explains why we should start with layout and how the layout system works within UI Builder. We can point to the options within the toolbox to learn more and see the differences between them. Next, we'll see the column layouts that support easier configurations for low-code users. In this case, we apply a three-column layout and we're presented with a column layout component on the stage. Let's see how these components work on a page. For three columns, each is 33% of the total width. When we add a new column, all of them are automatically adjusted to 25%. Now let's add another column layout after the first one and adjust the column widths by dragging the column handle. When we add a new column, the existing column widths maintain their proportions. We can also nest columns within a column. Here in our bottom middle column, we add four nested columns. We adjust these four columns to change their layout. We can also go up one level to the column that contains them to change the overall layout and everything moves with it. And finally, we add button and heading components. Then continue to adjust widths until we get the layout where we want it. Now let's look at configuration improvements. Rather than showing all the configuration options, we can access the Show Advanced Layout Options and Show Advanced Configurations links when we want to see these options, so the panel isn't overwhelming. We adjust margins and padding in the spacing component to configure the spacing around an element. Here we can also add borders, shadows, and background color. UI Builder uses the same theme variables as Theme Builder for consistency. Back to the toolbox for a moment. When we access the toolbox within a layout component, the component toolbox automatically displays the components tab. The information here at the bottom of the toolbox shows us how the component would flow with other elements based on the page configuration. In this case, the components will flow from top to bottom. Now let's look at on-stage navigation. Let's say we've added three data visualizations in separate columns, and the last one is selected. What if we want to configure the column that contains this component? We can use this on-stage shortcut to select one element above or below the selected one. In this case, there's nothing below the data visualization component level, but we can switch to the column that contains this component. In this case, column three, by clicking the flag above it. We can also move all the way up to the column layout component that is wrapping this column as well. The layout and stage features in UI Builder Make it easy to build pages. Give them a try and let us know what you think. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.